The first batch of five Rafal fighters, three single and two twin seat, has landed at the Ambala Air Base. The fighter jets were escorted by two Sukhoi Su 30 MKI as they entered the Indian airspace and were greeted by an Indian Navy warship, INS Kolkata, deployed in the Western Arabian Sea. Rafal, flown by Indian Air Force IAF pilots, reached India after covering a distance of 7,000 kilometers, or about 4,350 miles with air-to-air -air refueling and a single stop in the United Arab Emirates. They will officially be inducted into the Golden Arrows No. 17 Squadron of the IAF. India's contract for 36 Rafal fighters has a cost of about $8.721 billion and it's supposed to receive all the jets by 2022. In this video, Defense Updates analyzes why India's French-made Rafal will actually be a nightmare for Pakistan and China. Let's get into the details. This video is sponsored by War Thunder. If you are, like us, fascinated by military vehicles and technology, I recommend you give War Thunder a try. It's a military vehicle combat game which you can download and play for free on PC, PlayStation 4 and Xbox One with cross-platform support. It has a huge variety of more than 1,200 playable aircraft, tanks, helicopters and ships from the 1930s to the 1990s, which you can take to battle on land, in the air and at sea on more than 80 theaters of war. War Thunder has been kind enough to offer all Defense Updates viewers a special bonus, which will grant you a free premium tank, aircraft or ship and three days of premium account time for registering using our link in the description below. So take the plunge and join more than 20 million players from around the world. The Dassault Rafale is a French twin-engine Canard Delta wing multi-role fighter aircraft equipped with a wide range of weapons. Rafal, literally meaning gust of wind and burst of fire in a more military sense. It's intended to perform air supremacy, interdiction, aerial reconnaissance, ground support, in-depth strike, anti-ship strike and nuclear deterrence missions. The Rafal is referred to as an omni-role aircraft by Dassault. The aircraft is available in three main variants. Rafal C single seat land based version, Rafal B twin seat land based version, and Rafal M single seat carrier based version. Rafal is one of the most sophisticated 4.5 generation fighters and is very close to a fifth generation one. The capabilities are as follows 1. The Rafal is fitted with two Snecma M88 engines each capable of providing up to 50 kilonewtons 11,000 pounds force of dry thrust and 75 kilonewtons 17,000 pounds force with afterburners. This enables the jet to supercruise at Mach 1.4. 2. The thrust to weight ratio is one of the best in the category, similar to Eurofighter Typhoon but better than F-35s. This makes it an excellent dogfighter. 3. It has sensor fusion that is unlike a typical fourth generation fighter and more like a fifth generation one, Rafal has the ability to process all the data from different sensors and present it in a single screen, enabling the pilot to take quick and accurate actions. 4. Dassault Rafale is fitted with an RBE-2 AA radar system, which is an active electronically scanned array AESA, radar system derived from the Rafale's RBE-2 radar. The radar is reported to deliver a detection range of greater than 200 kilometers or 125 miles for a fighter-sized target and has improved reliability. 5. As per French combat doctrine, Rafale is expected to move into heavily defended airspace without needing enemy air defenses to be degraded first. For this, Rafale features an integrated defensive aids system named Spectra, which protects the aircraft against airborne and ground threats. Various methods of detection, jamming and decoying have been incorporated. This is considered one of the best in the world. 
It's to be noted that 30% of the cost of the entire aircraft has been devoted to the radar and self-protection equipment. 6. Although not really a stealth aircraft, the Rafale was designed for a reduced radar cross-section RCS, and infrared signature. In order to reduce the RCS, changes from the initial technology demonstrator include a reduction in the size of the tail fin, fuselage reshaping, repositioning of the engine air inlets underneath the aircraft's wing, and the extensive use of composite materials and serrated patterns for the construction of the trailing edges of the wings and canards. 7. The fighter has a range of 1,850 kilometers or 1,150 miles or 1,000 nautical miles with three drop tanks. This enables the fighter to carry out long-distance missions. 8. The Rafale is typically outfitted with 14 hardpoints except for the M variant which has 13. It has an external load capacity of 9 tons enabling it to carry out a decent weapons load. Indian Rafales will be equipped with MICA IR or EM short and medium range. MICA, developed by MBDA, is an anti-air, multi-target, all-weather, fire and forget missile. It's fitted with a thrust vector control TVC system and has a range of 80 kilometers or around 50 miles. It's a very versatile missile. On the 11th of June 2007, a MICA launched from a Rafale successfully demonstrated its over-the-shoulder capability by destroying a target behind the launch aircraft. The target was designated by another aircraft and coordinates were transmitted by Link-16. India is acquiring Meteor Missile for BVR or Beyond Visual Range Combat. Meteor Missile is developed by MBDA and is based on the requirement derived from Six Nations. It has a range of 150 kilometers or 93 miles. It's capable of engaging fast, agile jets to small, unmanned aerial vehicles as well as cruise missiles in extreme weather conditions. Meteor has excellent aerodynamics and propulsion performance, enabling it to pull off intense turn angles when pursuing an agile target like a modern, super-maneuverable fighter. The missile has a no-escape zone of 60 kilometers or about 38 miles, which is the largest for a missile of this category. Meteor is actually considered to be the best BVR missile against fighter jets. Rafale carries the 30mm GIAT-30 revolver cannon and has 135 rounds, which are enough for 6 to 8 bursts. Indian Rafale will be equipped with Scalp missile, which is an Anglo-French low-observable air-launched cruise missile developed since 1994 by Matra and British Aerospace and now manufactured by MBDA. The missile has a range of approximately 560 kilometers or 350 miles or 304 nautical miles and is powered by a turbojet at Mach 0.8. It's essentially made to take out high-value targets like airfields, bunkers and command and control center from standoff range. The missile can evade enemy air defense units with its ground-hugging trajectory. Reports indicate India has decided to acquire Hammer in view of the ongoing border tensions with China since the integration and trial of the Israeli-developed Spice 2000 bombs were taking too long. Hammer is a French precision guided munition developed by Saffron Industries and Defense. It comprises a frontal guidance kit and a rear mounted range extension kit matched to a dumb bomb. It has a range of 60 kilometers or around 38 miles in ideal conditions. Air superiority is key to any modern day battle scenario. So these jets have a very important role to play in a potential conflict. Viewers may note that on the 27th of February, a day after the bombing of the GEM terrorist training facility in Pakistan by the Indian Air Force, a short air battle ensued between Indian and Pakistani fighters. 
the Indian Sukhoi 30 MKIs and other jets that were scrambled to intercept the incoming Pakistani fighters had found it difficult to engage the F-16s as they were outranged. The Pakistani F-16s were armed with the AIM-120C Advanced Medium Range Air-to-Air -air Missiles AMRAMs, which have a range of about 105 kilometers or around 65 miles. Whereas the Indian fighters had Russian made R 77 that has a range of around 80 kilometers or 50 miles. Rafal with Meteor will mitigate this kind of situation in the future and will also be more than a match for anything China can throw at India when it comes to air to air combat. Scalp will enable IAF to knock out almost any Pakistani targets without leaving Indian airspace and carry out standoff strikes even against Chinese targets that are protected by the Russian S-400 air defense system, which has an engagement envelope of 400 kilometers or 250 miles. Clearly, Rafal will be a game changer for the Indian Air Force in the future, and it will have massive implications. It remains to be seen if India acquires another 36 to further augment the air power. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos like this. Hit the like button if you find the video interesting and kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve.